We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, welcome to day 27 of the Phantom Manus. Now, just a couple of little things I wanted to talk about. Um, just behind, at the back here, I've got a couple of keepsakes. You know, I've still got my 3D goggles from the 3D release in Discover the Force in 3D. Um, from 2012, 2011, 2012. So, I still kept them. They were part of, they, they came off the packaging of the action figures, the Discover the Force um, in 3D action figures. So I've still got them. I still have this really old Pizza Hut Pepsi cup <laughs> from 1999. And this thing, you know, I don't think I ever drunk out of it, but it's, uh, it's, it's accumulated a little bit of a crud and dust and stuff in there. I've been tempted to go and put it through the dishwasher, but I'm afraid it will just sort of evaporate into, into nothing and I won't ever see it again. So I've kind of avoided it. I may I may take the risk and see what happens. But um yeah, I'm worried a lot of the printing's gonna come off. And it is, like I said, it's just a plastic cup, but um, you know, I've used this thing as a pen holder, keep accessories, all sorts of stuff. The Phantom Menace. And you gotta just read the legal legal blabber on there. Can't really. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Um, yeah, the 20th anniversary patch from from Star Wars Celebration in Chicago. I did grab a couple of these. I still haven't used them. So I'm, I'm glad I kept on one of them. And uh, the uh, Episode 1 Phantom Menace 3D, 3D Cup. Which I went and saw that a couple of times. Back in 2012. Hard to believe it was that long ago. Um... But yeah, something else I wanted to share here. What I've got here is my folder of sort of keepsakes. You know, I've sort of got some keepsakes, uh, toy catalogs and magazine articles. So here's a, you know, here's a, an, an article from Time Magazine in uh, 1999. You know, I kept stuff like this. I cut out the pictures from chip packets and <laughs> put them in there. I got a little Lego, Lego catalog. Um, yeah, there is a, there's a magazine, I don't know if it's around anymore, Women's Day. There was a sort of a pull-out, little special on The Phantom Menace. Um, but yeah, there was one one article I wanted to get through, so I'll just skim through this quickly. Um, you know, little newspaper cutouts, movie times. A picture I drew. Some action figures that I <laughs> took photos of, and I didn't take photos, but I uh, yeah, just printed stuff out as a kid articles. See, so, yeah, I don't have the exact date. This would have been probably two thousand, um, I imagine. Empire Magazine. So the headline here is bad reviews. Jar Jar Binks episode two cheesy dialogue. The Ewoks, Maul's return, and Beyond Star Wars. Said George George Lucas, check shirt Aguirre with Phantom Menace. Do you want to talk about it? So. Yeah, they uh, go through a little bit of an interview with, with George Lucas. And uh, yeah, just the other day I did my video on, on Jar Jar Binks. And uh, you know, Empire Magazine go and you know, question him. You can just sort of see up here. It says here, speaking of Jar Jar Binks, certain sections of the fan base and audience are violently taken against him. Can you see where they're coming from? And George's response is very interesting. Because I think it still resonates today. And the fact that they've, they've you know, put in quotation, you know, violently taken against him, which it was, it was true. It was, you know, very hate fueled, and it's just there was no need for it. But George goes on to say, yeah, it's always been there. There's a group of fans who don't like comic sidekicks. They want to see the Terminator. They want to see a different kind of movie. But this isn't that movie. And that same group of fans absolutely hated R2 and 3PO in the first film. In the second film, they hated Yoda. He was not a well liked character. We can't understand what he's talking about. He's green. He's a Muppet. In the third film, they hated the Ewoks. Couldn't stand the cute little sidekick characters. We don't like it. It makes it beyond a ch children's film. They can't stand it. That there's this aspect of movies, but comic book sidekick characters have always been in every single movie. And Empire continued on down here, they said, and they will continue to. Will they? And will they continue to? And George says, 
And they will continue. I'm sorry if they don't like it. They should go back and see The Matrix or something. These are PG movies. I'm not going to take those kind of characters out. Obviously, when you get a small group of fans who hate something, it becomes compounded by the internet. This is 25 years ago, George is saying this. George knew what was going on. The press picks up the internet like it's a source. They don't realize it's just one person typing out their opinion. Thank you, George. A man of pure foresight. In my experience, in the experience of 20th Century Fox, that most of the people who go to the movie, at least 95% love Jar Jar. He's extremely popular with kids. He's popular with women. It's funny that 5% of the audience, even less probably, who don't like Jar Jar are the ones that get written about. In the toy world, Darth Maul is the biggest seller, but Jar Jar is up there. Part of it is an ageism thing. I'm cool, I'm hip, I'm embarrassed, I'm liking a movie that appeals to young kids. You have to give it the fear of being declared unhip or not tough. So yeah, that's that's just something I, I was just sort of flicking through this the other day and I read that and I thought, it's not the first time George has, George has pointed out something years in advance. He was mentioning the internet, you know, becoming a vile cesspool, which in some places it very much is today. So, I, uh, yeah, aside from the cups, I just wanted to share that little little tidbit. I thought that'd be fun um, to talk about. Um, even George having to having to leap to the defense of his film back in 1999. And uh, everyone criticizes people like J.J. Abrams and, and Ryan Johnson having to explain aspects of their films. Um, but George was doing it back then. And, you know, when when a certain small, very small percentage of the fan base see red... You can't change their mind. You just got to let it go and ignore it, um, which is what I do my best to try and do these days: is just let the internet do its thing. <laughs> All right, folks. We'll see you for another video tomorrow. May the force be with you always. <laughs>